Hi. Today's video is going to be about some of the products that I have found have really, really stood the test of time. They have continued to work well for me and they are things that I have used to the point of either having to replace them already or they soon will need to be replaced. So these are some of the items that I really love. Before I get started, just want to let you know I'm wearing the Gabor Carte Blanche. And yes, it is extremely comfortable. The cap is extremely comfortable. The style of it is so easy to wear. You're right. It does not fall in your face. And again, this, this um, wonderful lace front is absolutely incredible as far as I'm concerned. I think in some of the other colors, this would be absolutely great. So just wanted to pass that information along to you. Okay, let me get started. Uh, one of the things that I have been using with some regularity is my Mali primer. This is the Perfect Prep Poreless Primer. And say that three times in a row quickly. This is really a nice product. Let me tell you the one thing I don't like about it. As it has aged, and I'm down toward the bottom of it at this point, so you can see, really get a good look at that. It's gotten a little lumpy. Do you see those little lumps in there? Does not affect it at all in terms of how it applies or how it wears at all. So I'm really, really pleased with that. And I will definitely buy this one again. In terms of pore minimizing, I have to tell you, I've been dealing with some really big pores lately. Take a look. I find it to be really pore minimizing. And while I'm in close, let me again show you the makeup. I hate to say that this is one of my favorites because it is so pricey and I would prefer to talk to you about something that was less pricey. But this is the Tom Ford eyeshadow quad. This one is Orchid Haze and it's the one I have on today. In addition to this, I do have the Magnificent Metals in the Kitten, I think it's Kitten Karma on as well. And my base is coming from uh, another palette that I will show you. But this is the Tom Ford. Now, I, I think it was it was something outrageous, like $82 or something like that. I have to check to be sure, but I, I seem to recall it was something like that. Okay, the colors are really nice. The one thing I love about the Tom Ford eye makeup is that it has very little fallout so it's so much easy when I use it I'm not getting all that garbage under my eyes the other thing that I was using and, and by the way I am going to be doing a giveaway very soon I'm waiting for a couple of products to come in and then I'm going to be doing a giveaway and one of the products that will be in the giveaway will be this blizzard collection that is dirty sorry about that this and even if you don't use this for anything else these two make it worthwhile they are so incredibly creamy this is something that I use very very often as the base for my eyes can you see it I mean it really has nice coverage and the color is wonderful. What I'm wearing today is the pink one, which is the second one across. This is gonna fly right in my lap. That is this one, and I'll swatch it right here. This, it looks chalky here, it's not at all. It really is not, it, it has great coverage. This has been on for many, many hours now, and it's wearing extremely well. So I like this a lot, and as I say, this this will be part of the giveaway. Another product that I love over time, it's no longer, I think I'm gonna love it, I love it. This is the Invisible Fill BB Makeup 
Um, it is an airbrush line filling mattifier with an SPF of 10. And I love this stuff. It takes a tiny little bit of it, tiny, tiny. Really, I'm running low on it, but I ordered more. And as I say, I will have one of these in the uh, giveaway. It's so, so creamy when it goes on. It feels very, very satiny. Velvety, actually. Very, very smooth. And it goes right into the skin. It's wonderful. Another thing, you've seen me talk about this before, and I use this very often. I love it. It's the Miraness Velvet Maxi Lift Supreme. It is an expensive makeup as well. I would say if you want to consider this one, wait till they have a sale because they do run sales on a lot of this stuff with some regularity. If you go to the Miraness site, I've told you before, it's a company out of Australia and I like a lot of their products a lot. One of the other things that is really underplayed and I've not seen a lot of people talk about this over time, I've certainly mentioned it once or twice before, but I'm in love with this. This is my It Cosmetics, what do they call it? The tight line. And it really does function much like a tight line in the sense that it's got this tiny little brush. Look at this. And you get it down to the bottom of your lashes. And you just wiggle it and apply it that way. You don't even need to wear mascara with this if you don't want to. You can layer this if you want to. Take a look. I mean, it does a beautiful job. Can you see it? I really absolutely love this product. I'm at the point now, I had three of these, and I'm at the point now where it's time to order it again. But I won't be without that one. Um, the mascara. I did at the end put on one coat of mascara, and this was the Miraness Eye Curl, and it's one of their award-winning mascaras. I love the wand on this one. It's got that great shaped wand that is so terrific and so easy to use, both top and bottom. You get terrific coverage on this, so take a look. I really love that one as well. Uh, oh, this one I owe to Natalie. I don't, I don't know what made me do it because I am very, very selective about my fra fragrance choices, as I guess most people are, because we all have fragrances that we like or dislike based upon our own body chemistry or the way we perceive it on us. This one is the Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance, and it's an absolutely adorable packaging. There she is in her little uh, corset. And as you can see, right now she's strapless, but if I use it a little bit longer, she could be half naked. This is a lovely, lovely, very, very warm and soothing scent. I love to put this on just before I go to bed. I just love the way it smells. So that's another one that I use with some regularity. Uh, aside from that, there are other products, but I think I'm going to stop there for today. Uh, and what I'm going to try to do is when I do it, I'm going to show you the products on a day when I've used them so that you can actually see what they look like on my skin. Once again, this is a close-up of the eye makeup today. Love the look with the Magnificent Metals, always do. They are definitely a go-to for me. There was one other product that I want, actually two. This, I've tried so many brow products and I, none of them, none of them is 100% what I like. I think this one comes very, very close. This is the Miraness, God, I sound like a commercial, but I don't mean to be. 
This is the Miraness 3D Multi Shade Brow Express. So it gives you this. It took me a while to be able to figure out how to use this. Take a look at the shape of the point. It is triangular. And I had to figure out how to use it, always starting with the narrow point here and working my way across. On the other end of this, you have the spoolie. And that for me is perfect because when I start my brows, I always brush them down so I see where the natural line of it is and where to continue it so that it gives me the perfect brow shape for me. Or at least, I, I perfect is a, probably a wrong word, but it's what makes me comfortable. I'm really comfortable with this. And it's a color that I think is universal. It's kind of a taupey color. And I really like this one a lot. It's very easy to work with. There is one other product that I had out here. And the last product I'm going to talk to you about today is something that I use every single day. And I don't want to be without it. I just ordered more. And one of these will be in the giveaway as well. This is a Miraness Shona Concealer Ombre Stick. And this I have shown you before. I There is not a day that goes by when I don't use this. This is both concealer. It's kind of, here it is. You can see it there. It's concealer and highlighter and it is so incredibly smooth that look at the way it applies. It's amazing. It really is amazing. I absolutely love this. I think whoever gets it will love it as much as I do. Now you can see the two colors a lot better. I use it here every day. I use it here every day. And uh, there are other places that I use it depending upon what's happening with my makeup. I often do it also on the bridge of my nose. And I love it. So these are the things that are working for me and that I think are totally worth your time and consideration if you're in the market for any of these things. If not, I'm sure having the information about what works for somebody else is always helpful. So take care. Great visiting with you again. It's a little bit late in the day and because that's another thing. I'm getting really depressed this this entering into fall, I actually had to put my heat on yesterday morning for a little bit. I couldn't get warm. I put on two layers of clothing and wrapped myself in a throw and I was still cold. So I put the heat on reluctantly. Fortunately, I only had to use it for a little while, but it tells me that it's changing. It's already starting to get dark earlier and I am absolutely hating that so because it's a different time of day you're getting the lighting different I really have to buy the lights I recognize that and I will be buying them but until I do this is it I really hope it doesn't come across badly the sun shining on this side is not helpful there you can see the true way that it should look without having that tremendous light on that side so and once once again I haven't talked about this in a while but will you take a look at those bags look at the outer side of both of them there is no indent anymore it's just not there yes some of the discoloration is there and as I say for some reason well Carol tells me it's because my lighting stinks she, she was nicer about it, but in essence, that's what it is. So I have to correct the lighting, but it shows up much more here than it does in real life. So it's definitely something I can live with, and I'm absolutely thrilled. So take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you really soon. Bye-bye.